Hi, my name is Dr. Ramil Dakshini. I am a dermatologist practicing in my clinic called Think Skin Clinic in Bangalore. So cryotherapy is one of the ways that we can remove warts on our skin. Cryotherapy is nothing but freezing the skin so that the tissue becomes dead and falls off. Generally, we use liquid nitrogen, which goes as low as minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. This easily can remove the wart. If the wart is a little bigger or it's protruding out, we tend to shave the wart first, then apply the liquid nitrogen so that it heals faster and we get rid of the wart quicker. What you need to expect is that that area becomes numb. You feel icy cold first and then it becomes numb. With time, in a couple of hours or minutes, you might feel a little bit of pain, which subsequently subsides. Later, there will be a scab that will be formed. And after a few days, the scab will fall off. That's when the wart gets removed. You need to do multiple sessions to remove the wart completely. We've seen almost 50 to 70% of removal of wart completely using three to four sessions of cryotherapy. But this is generally done under a doctor's supervision in a clinic. There are sometimes home care kits that are available. Now, these kits do not contain liquid nitrogen. These kits contain dimethyl ether propane, which is not as effective as liquid nitrogen. And one thing you need to remember is home care kits are not used for genital warts. For genital warts, you need to meet your doctor and treat it only in clinic. There are other procedures also that are available to treat warts, starting from solutions of salicylic acid to removal using radiofrequency. Do discuss with your dermatologist which is the best line of treatment for you and go accordingly. Post using cryotherapy, there are a couple of things that you need to remember. One, a blister is formed and that is natural post cryotherapy. So do not try and pop the blister. The second is, if you notice that the blister has popped on its own, clean that area with an antiseptic wash or an antiseptic solution so that it doesn't get secondarily infected. Post cryotherapy, in a couple of days, you will notice a scab that will be formed. Do not try and peel off the scab. Try to just hydrate it and keep it moisturized. The scab will peel off on its own once the skin below that has healed. In case there is severe pain after four to five days and there is pus or discharge coming from that area, do consult your dermatologist.